So hello, Colin, how are you? Oh, I'm good, yes, very well. How was your trip here? The uh, journey up was great, uh, just under three and a half hours. Uh, Lovely snowy scenery on the way up, so it was really nice to see all that. So yeah, and came up yesterday, ready for today and tomorrow's racing. You've had a great year, haven't you? Yeah, we've done well. Dogs have been running well. Um, 2017, we won Aviemore uh, in the two dog, and with the IFSS, we actually were third in global scooter over the whole of the world. So really good year, uh, and just hoping to build on that this year. What are your main challenges? Do you find? Uh, the main challenges are just keeping the dogs fit, healthy. Um, I think that's the main challenge, putting the work in. It's five or six nights a week out in the forest, rain, cold, and just keeping that going, but the results make it worthwhile. How did you get into the sport in the first place? Um, I'd always wanted a husky, uh, just always wanted one, and got one seven years ago. Got the first pup, and after that, within a year, had four dogs. Changed the car to a van. Uh, just went out 100% as usual. And what what do you like about this event particularly? Um, this event, it's a great atmosphere. There's a lot of public involved in this event. Most of the events are held in the middle of the forest. Not a lot of people know what's going on. This one, you have huge public interest. Um, so that's really good. The resort itself, Aviemore, is really good for socialising after the race as well. So yeah, it's a really good event and we get to see people we haven't seen all year, so it's good. Yeah, we seem to get quite a good turnout of people coming to watch as well. Yeah, uh, there's, there'll be hundreds, if not thousands of people on the course uh, and as you get into lunchtime, back lunchtime, it gets really busy. Uh, so that's great as well, good to educate people on what the dogs can do, what these dogs should be doing. So, um, so it's really good, you can help promote the sport. Yes, it's been good. Uh, dogs run well, so every box safe. So yeah, really good. good. Yeah, how, how do you find your course? Um, the course is really quite physical, um, a bit hard in places, but yeah, good fun, a uh, good challenge for the dogs. So we've had a whole mix of weathers today, haven't we? Yes. Yeah. It's uh, Aviemore has four seasons in one hour, not one day at Aviemore, so turned a bit miserable now, but it's still been a good weekend, been really good fun. Dogs, it doesn't bother. They're fine. It's the humans that get wet and complain. The dogs just get them out there. They enjoy it. Yeah. So, what are your main challenges? Um, <laughs> main challenges really is getting access to courses, getting training facilities. That's the hardest part. Uh, the dogs themselves, they love training that much. They enjoy the racing. They're quite easy to keep going. It's really finding places to train. Uh, but yeah. It, in fact, it's, it's just good fun, really, so nothing hard about it, just good fun. And how do you think you can encourage more young people? <laughs> I think getting young people in is about education, letting people see what we do. So we go to various events in our local area, do a show and tell with the dogs, do displays. So hopefully people can take their dogs and start doing the same thing and then get into the sport side of it. So that's what we try and do. Um, I think mine would be Mary Carter, um, she just makes it look so effortless, um, one command the dogs take turn and it's just so smooth so for the people I've saw I would say Mary Carter is the best that I've seen. I like Tensmuir in Fife, it's a really good course, uh, lots of variation and we were at Pembry in South Wales a few weeks ago and it was really good, uh, lots of different terrain it was really good, dogs loved it, which is the main thing. Well, I'd like to say thank you very much and well done for this weekend. Yeah, I look forward to seeing what, what happens next. It's great, thank you very much. I really enjoyed it and thanks again to CSU, thank you.